In this presentation, we will discuss what Evia de Clark's roles was in ending apartheid. Thereafter, we will discuss what Nelson Mandela's roles was in ending apartheid. We will do an investigation on what the reasons were for Evia de Clark's actions. Thereafter, we will also do intensive research on whether or not Evia de Clark deserved to receive the Nobel Peace Prize along with Nelson Mandela. Before starting our presentation, we first need to understand what a Nobel Peace Prize is and why it is awarded to individuals. The Nobel Peace Prize is given to individuals or organizations in the wishing will of Alfred Nobel that a Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to individuals who shall have done the most or the best work for fraternity between nations, for the abolition or reduction of standing armies, and for the holding and promotion of Peace Congress. We will now just understand why um, Mr. F. V. de Clark and Mr. Nelson Mandela received a conjoint um, Nobel Peace Prize. They were jointly awarded their Nobel Peace Prize in 1993 for their efforts to dismantle the country's apartheid system of racial separation. De Clare played a pivotal role in the ending of apartheid. He made decisions that influenced it. Um, he was elected president of South Africa in 1989. Following up in P.W. Boerter, the country was in disarray. So at this point, he needed to make some decisions. Either the country was going to fall or they were going to make peace. He held many secret meetings with Mandela, um, especially because he knew due to the mass protests and the international companies moving out, that the country was on the brink of failure. So in 1990, February, he made the decision and announced it to Parliament that he would be lifting some of the apartheid laws and introducing a new democ democratic South Africa. He specifically allowed um, liberation movements to occur. He took the country out of a state of emergency and he released Mandela's and Mandela and a few other political prisoners. I think that this was an avoidance of what I would think would be a very bloodshed end. Um, it also saved the country from collapse. But during his time in government between 1980 and 1990, he knew about the violence, he knew about what people were doing. He did very little to stop it and he never really took any responsibility for it. When he did, however, take office, he spent some time going across the country and motivating influential people, especially with the white minorities and the communities and telling them that a, dem a democratic South Africa would probably be in the best interest of everyone. Nelson Mandela was a man who stood up to apartheid and he fought for the freedom of South Africa and Nelson Mandela played a huge role in ending apartheid many many years ago. Um, he stuck up for South Africa and its people even though he was imprisoned for 27 years he came out still fighting for freedom, still fighting for equality amongst all people in South Africa. Um, Nelson Mandela ended the apartheid by having many discussions and many meetings with um, all political parties that were involved and he, him and de Klerk landed up preventing a civil war in South Africa during the apartheid time and um, Nelson Mandela and de Klerk and part of the ANC, um, they led South Africa to a peaceful and non-racial democracy. Um, Nelson Mandela also led by example when ending apartheid. One of his biggest, one of the biggest roles that he had was to lead by example of all of the discussions and all and everything that he had met with um, politicians about. 
and he did this by creating the RDP project, which is the Reconstruction Development Program. And he did this to help and try and build up South Africa again by um, fixing its infrastructure and allowing people to have homes that didn't have homes before that might have been damaged um, in the apartheid times. And he really tried his best to lead by example um, throughout ending apartheid and then when becoming president. Reasons for the CLAC's actions. Um, apartheid um, regime made many attempts to defeat the majority population, but had no success. Um, they created policies to try to coexist between the different um, races, but this was a failure mainly due to the fact that it was in favor of the minority group, not the majority group. Um, there was eventually no other option to, to exist other than to make peace. Um, we can see this relating to the National Party and the ANC. Um, the Clark and Mandela needed to tolerate each other to end apartheid. Um, the Clark didn't make this decision because he thought apartheid was bad, but rather out of the fact that it was became a necessity as there was no other option to exist. Um, apartheid would eventually destroy the economy and bring South Africa to its knees. Um, for about 20 years, um, de Klerk did support his party's, um, the, the National Party's views, um, but he saw that the system was crippling and had to make a change in order for the country to survive. Um, this was mainly due to boycotting um, some international investors were retracting from South Africa, as well as the radical protests that were happening within it. Um, the Cold War was used as an excuse to keep apartheid, and it was labeled it was labeled to avoid communism in the long run. Um, the Cold War masked this, but it when the Cold War ended, um, international communities looked at South Africa and began um, buckling down on us to in essence, ended. Um, the National Party and the Clark um, uh, couldn't admit defeat, so they used the economy's status um, of the country as an excuse to end apartheid instead of admitting that they were losing the war. Um, by ending apartheid, South Africa would be able to engage with trade on international levels and enrich its people's lives. Um, there was no bond or friendship between Mandela and the Clark but they did have political respect for one, one another. Um, even though they had differences of opinions, they were both um, opponents with mutual respect and they knew that they needed to get along to end the war. Evie de Klerk deserved to win the Nobel Peace Prize. According to our group's research, Evie de Klerk was a man with multiple personalities. Firstly, he was part of the National Party who enforced apartheid in South Africa. He was also the one who came to the decision that apartheid should end. Even though apartheid ended just a few decades ago, it is still very fresh in South Africa, partially because nobody was ever prosecuted for the terrible acts that were committed. Although criminal acts took place and the victims could be located, it appears that no culprits ever existed. The people of South Africa argued that he ought to have acted more to rectify the damage that was done to guarantee responsibility for the crimes of the National Party and what the apartheid regime brought onto black people's lives, as well as that he ought to have received prosecution himself. He was, after all, a member of the apartheid system for very long and benefited from it. During the pe period he served as president, he played a significant role in putting an end to apartheid, although his motivations were different. He never, never actually opposed the approaches of the National Party and did very little to stop them. Unlike Mandela, who advocated transformation for the love of his fellow South Africans, we are of the opinion that his actions were selfish because he either wanted to get away from the war or intended to get ahead politically since he was aware that the tide was about to turn. De Klerk was a hesitant reformer 
despite the fact that in 1990 he freed Mandela and the other freedom fighters and lifted the restriction on the liberation movements and their associates. He was appointed vice president in Mandela's government of national unity after he was defeated in the 1994 election. The cleric was unwilling to acknowledge his involvement in the brutality committed against black South Africans while holding an important position in the ruling party managed by Mandela. Looking at this statement and many other reason, re, research, it is clear that the clerk's intentions were not pure and he only wanted to end apartheid so that his people could survive. He still felt the same about black people. We are of opinion that he only received the Nobel Peace Prize for the peaceful way apartheid was ended and not for the person he was. We do not believe that Eva de Klerk deserved the Nobel Peace Prize as he never ended apartheid for peace but rather out of necessity. However, we are of meaning that the Nobel Peace Prize served its purpose in commending people for making peace for the good of a nation and its people. In this presentation, we discussed what Eva de Klerk's role was in ending apartheid. Secondly, we discussed Nelson Mandela's role in ending apartheid. We also looked at what the clerk's reasons were for ending apartheid. This list led us to our stance in whether he deserved the Nobel Peace Prize. We as a group did extensive research and still after all the readings stand by our choice and believe that he did not deserve to win the Nobel Peace Prize.